It may look like a high school performance, but this is a paid concert in a basement in Shibuya, Tokyo's party district. It's only 10 in the morning, but the fans are already going wild. The audience is almost entirely male, and they're all here to cheer their idols. In Japan, the term is used for pop music starlets idolized by their fans. Most idols combine a simple recipe for success. Sexy costumes paired with an innocent, childlike charm. For the fans, they symbolize a feminine ideal. There are more than 10,000 idols in Japan, like Rina, who has been in the profession for about a year. With songs and gestures of everlasting love, this feels like more than just a concert. Almost a flirtation, but without the kissing. The relationship between idols and fans is one that projects romance, even though it remains strictly platonic. It allows for the release of passion in a society that is usually reserved and rigid. During the peak of the show, the star, as if in a trance, descends from her platform to thank her fans, transgressing the normally sacrosanct rules governing social distance in Japan. For the past decade, this fantasy world has been booming in Japan. And it is an incredibly lucrative business. With more than 60 million albums sold, AKB48 is the second most popular band in Japanese music history. Remarkably, it has had more than 300 members since it was formed. Once they get older, the stars are replaced by younger performers, making idols similar to consumer products, with expiry dates dictated by their popularity. Strict rules govern the lives of idols. They're not allowed to have a boyfriend in order to always remain available to their fans, who are mostly single. A phenomenon that's attracting growing criticism as the idols keep getting younger. In this group, they're 11 to 13 years old. And most of the fans are the same age as their fathers. After the concert comes the moment the fans have been waiting for, a chance to meet their idols. For 25 euros, they get a signed photo and one strictly timed minute to speak to the idol. These photos are for personal collections, but they are sometimes shared on the internet. Many fans end up spending large amounts at these meetings, like this man who spends more than 500 euros per month. These feelings border on pedophilia, but the men claim they have no sexual attraction, just an idealized admiration for these young girls. According to their parents, there has never been any incident of fans misbehaving with the girls. Cases of idols being sexually or physically assaulted by fans are very rare. The meetings are strictly controlled by agents who take a share of the profits. To better understand how the idolization of young girls has become a collective fantasy, we head to Akihabara, in the heart of Tokyo. Everywhere you look, there are images of female characters from video games and mangas, hypersexualized but with a childish air. 
like these girls dressed as maids to attract clients to bars and shops. However, according to this producer of idol concerts, fans are driven less by sexual fantasies and more by a desire to become children again. In a country with growing numbers of single people, there are more than three million idle fans.